My name is Bruce Hunt. I'm doing this recording for my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and who, anyone else who would like to uh, consider what I'm, what I'm, the stories I'm telling, the experiences I've had, and my beliefs. I believe uh, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to be the true gospel of Jesus Christ here restored again upon the face of the earth by the prophet Joseph Smith. It's Jesus Christ Church that, that Joseph Smith was able to restore, uh, was, was restored through Joseph Smith by Christ, and, uh, and I believe we have a prophet and apostles here on the earth today to guide us and lead us so that our families can return to live with our Heavenly Father and partake while we're here on this earth of the blessings of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am a Christian, and I will read what I believe in a, in a summary version of what is called the Articles of Faith for my children and my great-grandchildren. And, my, and my, of course, my, my children, grandchildren, and grand, great-grandchildren. The Articles of Faith of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Keep in mind now, I have, I've had a hard time reading all of my life up until I was probably 35 or so. I could, I, it was hard for me to read children's books. And I've read and read and read a lot of the scriptures over the years and other things, but primarily the scriptures, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, the New Testament, etc. So, uh, the, uh, anyway, so here we go. The Articles of Faith. I believe in God, the Eternal Father, and in His Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. That's Article of Faith number one. Once again, I believe in God the Eternal Father and in His Son Jesus Christ and in the Holy Ghost. Number two, I believe that men will be punished for their own sins and not for Adam's transgressions or my father's weaknesses or my mother's weaknesses. Uh, I may be affected by others and may be affected by family learning family um, you know, bad habits and attributes, but I can repent and I can improve. Number three, I believe that through the atonement of Christ, all mankind, all womankind, may be saved by obedience to the laws and ordinances of the gospel. I believe that through the atonement of Christ, all mankind may be saved by obedience to the laws and the ordinances of the gospel. Number four, I believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are, first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, third, baptism by immersion for the remissions of sins, four, uh, fourth, laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Once again, article faith number four, I believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins, fourth, the laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I can't tell you how special it was when I was baptized and received the gift of the Holy Ghost from my uncle Mont and and my my dad Jerry and others that were there. I felt the power at the age of eight of the of the Spirit of the Holy Ghost it's peacefully, powerfully coming into my soul and my system, and I felt His presence many times and the influence over the years of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost being a conscience uh, uh, reminder, being a conscience mover, and helping me uh, through my thoughts and ideas do right and better things. Number five, I believe that a man must be called of God by prophecy and by the laying on of hands by those who are in author those who are in authority to preach the gospel and administer in the ordinances thereof. Once again, number five, I believe that a man must be called of God by prophecy and by the laying on of hands by those who are in authority to preach the gospel and administer in the ordinances thereof. 
I was on a, I went on a, uh, a, 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 church, a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I felt that power. I just returned from my son McKay's mission experience where he went on a mission to San Antonio and Austin, Texas, and the power that I saw there uh, of the influence that he was able to uh, have by being a tool in our Lord's hands. Number six, I believe in the same organization that existed in the primitive church, namely apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, and so forth. Once again, number six, I believe in the same organization that existed in the primitive church, namely apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists, and so forth. Number seven, I believe in the gift of tongues, prophecy, revelation, visions, healings, interpretations of tongues, and so forth. Once again, number seven, I believe in the gift of tongues. I experienced that as a, as a missionary working with the deaf people with, the, with sign language. Prophecy, revelation, visions, healings, interpretation of tongues, and so forth. I've experienced some of those. We, we, not me. Now, number eight, I believe the Bible to be the Word of God as far as it is translated correctly. I also believe the Book of Mormon to be the Word of God and the Doctrine and Covenants and the Pearl of Great Price and the Ensign and the conferences when we have general conference, when the prophets and the apostles speak to, to us, that is the Word of God. They are speaking the Word of God to us as inspired by their callings. Once again, number eight, I believe the Bible to be the Word of God as far as it is translated correctly. I also believe the Book of Mormon to be the Word of God. Number nine, I believe all, all that God has revealed, all that he does now reveal and, and will, and I believe that he will yet reveal many great and important things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Once again, number nine, I believe all that God has revealed, all that he does now reveal, and I believe that he will yet reveal many great and important things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Our Heavenly Father God, His Son Jesus Christ, and the power, the powerful uh, influence of, of the third member of the Godhead, the Spirit person, that of the Holy Ghost, that delivers the message through, through feelings and thoughts. Uh, I believe that I believe them to be the the Godhead, and I believe that uh, that they are in constant communication with us through our prophets, apostles, bishops, teachers, leaders, and especially us individually as we kneel and pray and 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 act upon every good thought that we receive from from that those experiences. Number ten. I believe in the literal gathering of Israel and in the restoration of the ten tribes that Zion, the new Jerusalem, will build, be built upon the American continent, that Christ will reign personally upon the earth and that the earth will be uh, renewed and receive its paradisiacal glory. glory. Uh, uh, so, number ten, once again, I believe in the literal gathering of, the, of Israel and in the restoration of the ten tribes that is that Zion, the new, new Jerusalem, will be built upon the American continent. That Christ will reign personally upon the earth, and that and and that the earth will be renewed and receive its paradisiacal glory. Number eleven, I believe. I'm sorry. Number number eleven, I claim the privilege of worshiping Almighty God according to the dictates of our of our, my own conscience, King um, con conscience, and allow all men uh, to do the same and have the same privilege. Worship how, where, or what they may. I will read that once again. I fumbled that a little bit. Sometimes I stutter a little bit. We claim the privilege of worshiping, or I should say this again. I claim the worship the. Pr I claim the privilege of worshiping Almighty God according to the dictates of my own conscience and allow all men the same privilege, let them worship how, where, or what they may. Now with that, with 
that clarification is this. Men may worship, people may worship however, wherever they weigh, they, 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 whatever they may do, but they're not, they do not have the right, in my opinion, to cause or harm to others for not doing the same as they do. So you can think whatever you want to think and believe and worship however you want to believe, but that should not, you should not cause harm to others if they don't follow and believe what you think they should, what that they believe. Um, okay, number 12, I believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, magistrates in obeying and honoring and sustaining the law. Number 13, I believe, I'll read number 12 one more time. Number 12, I believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates in obeying and honoring and sustaining the law. I also believe that there are a lot of leaders in our world today who are ruthless, uh, wicked and evil people, uh, and therefore that's why we need to either vote them in or vote them out according to, uh, according to society uh, so that we can have good people as our leaders that have good, have our, have our, our interest at, our best interest at heart, not theirs, but work together for the common good of society. Number 13, I believe in being honest, true, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, and in doing good to all men. Indeed, I may say that, that I follow the admonition of Paul. I believe all things. I hope all things. I have endured many things and hope to in, be able to endure all things. If there is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report or praiseworthy, I seek after these things. I will read this one more time. Number 13. Don't get me wrong. I have various struggles and I'm very weak in many ways. Um, this one, this, this one, uh, I fully believe, but I am challenged each day with some of the different uh, uh, concepts in, or the different concepts and uh, beliefs within number 13. Again, number 13, I believe in being honest. I'm trying to be honest to the best of my ability. True, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, and in doing good to all men and women. In all. Indeed, I may, I may say that I follow the admonition of Paul. I believe all things that are true. I hope all things. I hope all things. I have endured many things and hope to in, be able to endure all things. If there is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good rapport or praiseworthy, I seek after these things. Now, I'm a natural man. I don't seek after them property all the, every day all the time, but my intent each day I wake up is to be honest and be hardworking and be kind and helpful and, and act for the betterment of society, my family, those who I work with. 